Hey everybody, welcome to another Scrap and Sketch Saturday. Today I wanted to share with you some cards that I made using a sketch from MFT, my favorite things, and it's Sketch 116. I've actually had this in my uh, on my desk on my to make list uh, since late March. That's when I printed it and I think that's when it came out. So um, I really wanted to make sure to use it. So I used this sketch. I used, uh, these are all Thinking of You cards. So I used uh, this stamp set from Inka Dinka Do, which is called Greetings. I used this stamp set called Tender Tags from Close to My Heart. I just used a sentiment from that. The Say It in Style stamp set that you've seen me use a mazillion times. And then this um, Stamp Abilities uh, Greeting Words stamp set. Okay, and then I used Bling from my ugly bag of bling <laughs> and I'm still trying to go through that and then I used uh, some die cuts from my die cut dish I used some butterflies some scallop circles and some flowers from here and then I did use some ribbon from my scraps of uh, ribbon and trims okay and then I used recollection white uh, card bases okay so let me show you the cards my first one is this one here. Oops, don't make you too dizzy. So, um, just down just a little. Okay, so I used, I uh, made this card using some craft card stock from my scraps, and I layered these two papers, which are the back side of each other. And these I know are from Stampin' Up. I don't know what collection um, it's from, but it's really cute. And this is all I had left. Um, so I used. Uh, those two and then some from the same craft paper I uh, I had a actually this is from my die cut dish it was already I have a few of these in here so I used that and I embossed thinking of you on there in white and it looked really plain to me so I took a scallops or I'm sorry just a regular circle die cut from my die cut dish there and I just laid that on the scallop circle and then traced it with my white gel pen and I like how that gave it kind of a little border. It looks cute. And then this is from my die cut dish, this flower, and this is from Recollections, and I just added some bling in the centers there and on top. And then did some white dash lines um, all the way around the, the craft. And then on the inside, I just used the rest of the scraps there. This is the last of it, of these two papers. And um, on this one I did cut like a banner, although you can probably hardly see that. And then did do the white dash lines around the craft cardstock. Okay, so that one was my favorite. That was my first one. I really liked how that one turned out. Okay, the next one I went with purple and pink. And um, this paper I've had in my stash forever. Um, <clears throat> so this purple, this lavender that's the base there is um, textured, as is this hot pink paper. And again, I cut those in, cut this into a banner, and then the uh, scalloped oval and the heart and the butterfly are from my little die cut dish. And I added a rhinestone in there and stamped the thinking of you in watermelon ink from close to my heart. The inside, I just used some scraps to make some banners and left room for the message. Okay, the next one is using um, this red and turquoise pattern paper. And on this one, I did round the top right corner. Um, I love this color combination. It's just darling. So for the pattern, the flowers that were on the pattern uh, paper, I added some rhinestones in the center. And then this ribbon was from my scraps. And it wasn't long enough to make a bow, so I just tied a knot and adhered it there. And then in Boston White, the Thinking of You that Inka Dinka Do stamp and then did some white dash lines around the red and I love how bold that looks. So cute. I love this card. And then I just added a strip of that pattern paper along the inside of the card. That one was really simple. The inside. And then the last one is really soft. I really like how this one turned out too. Um, again, this one I decided to, on these others I had made the, the little banner out of uh, pattern paper. And on this one, I thought of making the the um, the card front um, 
out of pattern paper. So I did it opposite and left the, the banner to be blank. So um, and I really like this, this, uh, this pattern paper and it's actually very, very old. A lot of you will recognize that it's very old. Um, and then um, just added some of this green paper that matched for my scraps. And this is some white textured cardstock from Basil. And I used my scallop circle punch to cut that out of the same paper, the scallop circle. And then this white circle uh, was actually from my um, die cut dish as well as these butterflies in that coordinating color. So it was perfect. Then I added some baby blue rhinestones here and in the centers of those butterflies. I really like how it turned out to opposite. And then on the inside I just added the rest of the, the uh, green paper on top and bottom. And I think these are three quarter inch. Um, yeah, three quarter inch strips. And then I left room for my message. So these are my cards for this time around. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.